Good morning, friends. It's Julie Hamilton with Life Builders, bringing you simple tips to build a strong and healthy life on. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. Um, I just have a little message for you. Today, I, I put up something last night about saying that it's okay to be broken. You know, that is part of our humanity. And I've been researching a little bit the art of Kintsugi. Have you guys heard of that? Kintsugi is the art of embracing damage. And so sometimes we can think that because we're damaged, um, that we're no longer of use, that our cracks are too great, we're too broken for that. Um, but the art of Kintsugi is really where they take that lacquer of gold or silver or bronze and they use it to show the beauty of the cracks in the vessel. And so I just wanted to encourage you today that I'm just, I'm looking up here because my coach is sitting right here and he's going to think I'm a total dork for doing this. But anyway, um, so the, the art of Kintsugi really is just embracing the things that have happened. And it, the concept is that it makes the peace even more beautiful. So if you're broken, you've gone through some broken things. For me, my hardest broken things would probably be struggles with anxiety and panic disorder. <laughs> <laughs> is totally laughing at me. Anyway, anxiety and panic disorder. And then, you know, of course, my marriage two years in at our second anniversary, I was uh, about to leave. And, um, you know, our marriage was really bad. It was really hurtful. It was really painful. And those things left cracks. And I even said, to, I remember saying to my pastor, I said, oh my gosh, I feel like a sheet of plate glass broken in a million pieces. And if, if I get hit one more time, not literally, but with, with a bad a hurtful word. I felt like I'm going to shatter and break into a, a million pieces. But, you know, there was that concept of feeling broken. And so I just wanted to tell you guys, if you're feeling broken this morning, embrace the brokenness. It's not over. And those broken places are what's going to make you able to reach more people, to minister to more people, to touch more people, to understand where they're at. And they're actually what makes you beautiful. So um, let that tenderness come. Let the humility come. Um, it's all part of being broken, and it's okay to be broken, and we can be healed and put back together, too. All right. Love you all. Have a great weekend. Bye.